So problem 7.3 of Griffiths has two parts. The first part states that two metal objects are embedded in weakly conducting material of conductivity sigma, as shown in the figure. Show that the resistance between them is related to the capacitance of the arrangement by R equals epsilon naught over sigma C, where epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space. Sigma is the conductivity of the material between uh, the metal objects. And C is the capacitance of your, uh, of this capacitor. But remember, this is a capacitor. So this is, these are your metal objects and you have a uniform conductivity. Okay. Now let's first calculate the current, okay, between metal one and metal two. Okay, so the current will now be expressed as I, by definition, this is equal to the integral of the current density dotted it with Ta. Sometimes the area element is being exchanged with small a and big A. Depends on the context. Because sometimes we use big A for magnetic vector potential. But in this case, this is an area, differential area vector. By Ohm's law, we know that J is equal to sigma E. Okay. So therefore, by substitution, current will now be equal to the integral of sigma E dot D or simply sigma times the integral of J uh, times the integral of Uh, e dot D E. Okay, so if we're going to enclose our one of the metal objects by a Gaussian surface, okay, like this. So it doesn't matter right now what is the shape of this, but with Gauss law, this integral, if this is a closed integral, this is just equal to the enclosed charge in the first metal divided by epsilon, sub epsilon naught. So in short, this is now equal to sigma Q enclosed over epsilon naught. So whatever this charge is here, the negative charge, a negative of that is the charge in the other uh, metal. Okay? Because we have a capacitor here. So by definition, capacitor has two metal, uh, two conducting objects that have the same magnitude of charge but opposite in the sign. Okay, so the current is now equal to sigma Q over epsilon. Whatever the Q is, okay, that is related to your capacitor. Since, since the capacitance is equal to charge divided by the potential difference between the wires or between the conductors and by Ohm's law, E is equal to IR. Okay. So imagine this as your, if this is your it's between them, in between them is your sigma. So in between them would be your sigma. Okay. So the potential difference between the plates or between these two 
is related the charge on either side and the capacitance of your capacitor. And because this sigma is essentially a resistor because it has conductivity, remember that conductivity is just the reciprocal of your resistivity. So that means if this material in between uh, the two metal objects it has, it can act as a resistor. And by Ohm's law, the potential difference between one and two will be equal to I times R. So current will flow from, let's say, from one to two or to two to one, depending on the sign of the charges in metal uh, object one and object two. Okay, so using this a relationship, we can write now the current. Current is now written as C over epsilon naught and Q close, which is C. You know that B is equal to IR. Okay, so from here we can subject this in this equation. Okay, I or uh, related to B, so B will now be equal to over sigma c times i. So here I just rearrange this equation in this form and by virtue of Ohm's law, this will be your r. So r would be sig uh, epsilon naught over sigma c. And this is the result that we're looking, that we are looking for. 